Hello and welcome again to my channel. Today we are going to be cooking a substitute of okada rice and the substitute is called bulgur wheat. So that's the bulgur wheat, that's how it looks and I'm using the extra extra coarse. So it has to be the extra extra coarse bulgur wheat. And this is for people, for health reasons, bulgur wheat is definitely healthier and um, for some people, you know, because your father rice, the traditional father rice is quite smelly. So this is a substitute for it. This is not as smelly as that. And it tastes also great, just like your father rice. So yes, I've got a pot of boiling water on there. And this is how the bulgur wheat looks. As you can see, it looks exactly like the grains of your father rice, isn't it? Yeah. I'm telling you, since I've discovered this, oh my god. Every day is like Christmas in my house because we eat it pretty much almost every day. Okay, so I've got um, two cups of water boiling on the on the pot, and I'm adding my two cups of washed bulgur wheat. So I washed it on that running tap, just like you wash rice. I washed it till it was clean and the water was clear. So I'm adding it into the pot of boiling water. Yeah, and we, yes, once it's been added, um, I try to flavor it, um, I, you can, this is what is optional, you can decide not to put it, but I'll be flavoring mine with some sliced onions, that's half a bulb of sliced onions, and I'll be adding some salt to taste. So yes, I'm just going to mix everything together so that um, everything is, um, the salt is equally uniformly rounded there. Then I'll cover the pot and allow it to cook. So this is after about 10 minutes and I cook it under low heat. So this is under low heat, yeah? So this is how it looks after 10 minutes of cooking. Mind you, the water is not yet completely dry here. I intentionally opened it, I didn't want to eat the water to boil. It's cold, only that we need the water to be dry. But before then, yes, that's how to test if it's cold. And as you can see, I can press it easily in my hands. And yes, I wanted to have some mixed vegetables in mind. This is purely optional. I like I like adding uh, meat vegetables into my rice or you know or bulgur with because of the color it gives it a color I love food that looks good and another reason is because of the health reasons you know that's a way to get my fruits and vegetables in so yes I'm mixing everything together and I covered it to allow it to just steam so that the water can dry completely by now I've turned off the heat on that because I do not want to cook the um, vegetables just wanted it to, to warm up so yes that's how it looks I've served it and that's how it looks you can see it looks exactly like your father rice try it and let me know how you how you feel about it it also tastes great too so this is my own version of a substitute for father rice and without the smell and with the same nutritional value all right so I'll see you later bye